done nothing on this flight but eat and drink and be merry. From the time I boarded the plane around 10 p.m. until around 2 a.m. in the morning, I could say I'm embarrassed, but I have absolutely no regrets in devouring all their yummy dishes and drinks. I love that they also put this candlelight just to make it seem romantic. That's tuna tartare over there. Their main course was salmon over spinach risotto. I've tried a lot of their cocktails and some of them are hit and miss. Check out this rice. It's been boiled with beetroot to give it that pinkish color. It really is so nice that they pay attention to detail. That is freshly squeezed orange juice that I enjoyed before takeoff. And for the finale, I enjoyed a cheese platter with delicious wine tasting. This is basically a summary of everything that I experienced during my flight. I was also given pajamas or nightwear. And believe it or not, I actually saw the actual shop over at Edinburgh. It's called The White Company. I've actually not heard of them. Check out my video on what it was like taking off, but this video is all about what it's like landing over at Doha. My final destination will be at Manila in the Philippines, so come and join me and I hope you learn a thing or two on this video. artisan chocolates what was inside the coated chocolate shell one was chocolate praline and the other one was dark chocolate praline in every flight that i've had with qatar airways i always wake up to these chocolates which is a very nice way to wake up it's looking really yummy i do hope what's inside will be delicious i hope there's praline or liqueur or just something something yummy if dark or milk chocolate is not your thing i'm sure they can find a way to get you some white chocolate chocolates and treats aside from the Godiva. I am so bribed. Qatar Airways is the best. I feel so spoiled. So I asked for some more chocolates and look what they gave me. I really feel so yeah spoiled and pampered. I'm really looking forward to landing in Doha. I think I travel about I don't know God knows how many times a year but it happened, I was definitely traveling, traveling a lot more. So we're almost landing in Doha. I don't have that much actually the day over. I only have about an hour and a half, so I don't even know if I'll have time in the lounge. So I hope you stick around with me. Let's go see what the airport's like. Hopefully not busy because I still am a little bit paranoid about COVID. I do make sure to sanitize all the time and just practice social distancing. Although uh, boarding the plane really was so tight, there were so many people and nobody was practicing social distancing at all. So traveling this time was a little bit more nerve-wracking. I hope that when we come out of the plane that everyone will just yeah practice social distancing and I hope that the airport will be a lot was transitioning I wasn't sure if I'd be allowed to take water bottles with me so it's always a good idea to hydrate especially when you're traveling up in the air if you haven't already my previous videos before this I was enjoying wine and some cocktails so definitely I needed the water this is one of my favorite parts recording uh, the plane landing in Doha it's, it's just really fun to see how yeah how the plane lands and especially take off I do also have to say something different about this flight. I think as COVID continues, I do notice more and more passengers not wearing masks. So I think, you know, it's just because it's so comfortable when you're eating, you eat obviously without a mask and then you just end up going about your time in the plane without a mask. So that's something I've observed during this flight and as time progressed, when COVID first happened, definitely everyone was wearing masks and uh, there was a lot more uh, empty chairs or empty seats and planes. But now, this plane was actually jam-packed. There were so many passengers on this plane and a lot of people coughing. 
wanted to share. takeoff and landing has always been so smooth this morning i'm so grateful because the sun is out and oh my goodness how beautiful is that sunset i know some people who time their flight so that they can see the sunrise or the sunset so that could be something that you can plan ahead that was a very smooth landing so hello doha and it's official i'm not in the uk anymore i'll be in manila very very soon Join me on my next video and let's go see what it's like in the Doha airport, especially what it's like traveling now during the pandemic. See you guys. Bye.